Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe leave a comment saying thanks. Really helps with the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you to the product page where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? It is a laptop screen extender by a company called Kelsery. This is the box it comes in once you order it. As you can see, it is the P1 model here. Once you open it up, you're going to get all the parts and pieces that you need to hook everything up. So first off, you're going to get a quick um, little setup guide. In addition to that, you are going to get a user manual that's going to go in more depth, and you're going to get a um, version of that in on this little USB card right here. Then there's two ways to hook this monitor up to your laptop. If your laptop can do a USB Type-C, you will use the Type-C to C connection cable. This part will go ahead and hook up to the device, and then this part will hook up to your uh, computer. But if you do not have a USB Type-C connection, you can utilize the HDMI to HDMI hookup, and then there's this USB uh, traditional to the USB Type-C plug, and you'll use both of these as the alternative way to hook up the device. And then finally, you're gonna get the monitor itself, and it comes in this nice little carrying case, which makes it easy for traveling, because one of the reasons I love this uh, monitor setup is when I am traveling, I really like to have two monitors, um, so that way if I'm editing videos or doing something like that, I can have my main monitor, and then I can have other information on the secondary monitor. And so this makes it super easy to travel with the curious, uh, with the little handle here, and it also protects the screen. So we'll just open this up here. Okay, so how does this all work? So first off, as you can see, here is the screen part itself. So this is a 12 inch screen. Um, it is FHD 1080p quality, and it can rotate here 210 degrees. So as you can see, it kind of folds like so, and your uh, laptop monitor part will sit right here. This will be at the top corners. And then how you put it on is you're just gonna simply pull it apart and then slide it on to uh, secure it. And then on the back side here is a nice little kickstand. Uh, so that way it will help support your monitor because you've added a bunch of weight to it. And then this is adjustable. So you simply need to turn it to where the little tab is sticking outwards and then just pull it down to the point you want. Uh, my only complaint about the kickstand is I do wish it was a little bit longer, but I understand they were kind of running out of room. But other than that, it's pretty minor. And I do like this whole um, how you can just simply rotate it and select the various notch that you want. I thought that was really well designed. Now, um, on the side of the monitor here, you will notice that you have your USB plug if you connect via that way. You will have your HDMI plug if you connect with the HDMI. And then you're going to have two um, Type-C connection ports. Uh, so I typically plug in this one to the top port. Uh, and both of these are powered ports. So you have that spare one if you need, if your laptop basically powers through a USB Type-C, you can plug it in here and power up your laptop if you wish to utilize that. So how you hook it up to your computer is you're simply just going to stretch out the ends. Um, they are a little tight, so it does take a little practice. I like to go ahead and get the one side where the monitor part uh, hinges on first and then start with the other side. Then you will go ahead and connect whichever cable that you want and you'll be able to power it on. Now, one of the nice things about this monitor extender is the fact that it doesn't require any drivers. It is basically plug and ready to go the minute you turn it on. Uh, if you want to change your settings in your computer, you can go through Windows and go ahead and either set it up in mirror mode or you can set it up as an extended screen depending on your preference. I personally like that extended screen option so that way I can have my main content on the main screen and then on the side screen I use for smaller things if I'm doing a little research or if I'm rendering out a video or messaging and things like that. So it makes it really nice um, for kind of business applications. Uh, you can also use this monitor as a standalone device if you want. So uh, let's say you uh, have a Nintendo Switch or some other gaming console and you don't have a TV to hook it up to. You can hook them up via, like I said, the HDMI cables. 
uh, and stream content onto this little monitor if you wish to utilize that, which is just a nice little feature. Same thing with your cell phone. So if you want to hook up your cell phone to and have an external monitor, you can utilize that also. Um, as far as all the controls, they're right here on the side. You have your power button, and then you're going to have um, basically the brightness adjustment levels. Uh, and then the hinge itself works really, really well. My only complaint with the hinge is I wish it was on the outside versus the inside because you do have a little bit of overlap here in the corner. But at the end of the day, that is not a huge deal breaker for me. Um, Overall, though, it is a very nice setup. Um, it's very easy to use. I love the fact that you had to install uh, basically no software. It was plug and play, and it doesn't take up a lot of extra ports on my laptop, so it's very, very functional. And if you are in the market for a um, basically way to get an extra screen on your laptop, I think this one is totally worth checking out. If there's something that I didn't quite cover that you're a little curious about. Feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And that is it until the next video. You guys, take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.